So here is a model one where there are the topics block diagram of DC power supply, half way rectifier, biphase full way rectifier and bridge rectifier. So first we'll see about the block diagram of DC power supply. So here this is a block diagram which explains how the conversion of high voltage AC to regulated DC. So first thing in this block diagram is about the transformer. Here step down transformer is used. There are two types of transformers. One is step up and second one is step down transformer. Step up transformer is used to increase the voltage and step down transformer is used to decrease the voltage. Generally in the transformer there will be a primary coil and secondary coil. In primary coil there is a number of turns which is considered as EN1 and number of turns in secondary coil is considered as EN2. In step up transformer N1 is less than N2. In step down transformer N1 is greater than N2 means the number of turns which is greater than the number of turns in the secondary coil in step down transformer. So step down transformer which is used to decrease the voltage in a sense step down the voltage. So here there is a conversion of high voltage AC to low voltage AC means to convert high voltage to low voltage step down transformers are used here and uh, this low voltage AC is applied to the next element called the rectifiers. Rectifiers are of two types half way rectifier and full way rectifier. In full way rectifier again it is classified into biphase rectifier and a bridge rectifiers. So the difference is in terms of the number of diodes and system complexity and the efficiency and the amount of ripples. If we consider the half way rectifier there is only one diode. So we can say the circuit is simple but efficiency is just a 40 percent. Since the efficiency is less ripples in this rectifier is more means the output expected output is DC. Actually rectifiers in a sense it's a conversion of AC to DC. The expected output is DC but there will be a ripple. Ripple in a sense unwanted signal. Here unwanted signal is a AC component. So in a half way rectifier the efficiency is just 40 percent. In a sense the ripple AC component is more. In full way rectifier there are two types biphase and bridge rectifier. If we see the biphase rectifier there are two diodes. Two diodes out of two diodes one diode only one diode will be on for the particular half cycle and another diode will be in a off state and the efficiency is 80 percent so the ripple is less compared to the half way rectifier and the system is little complex since there are two diodes. And next one is a bridge rectifier. This uses bridge network means there will be four diodes. So out of four diodes, two diodes will be on and two diodes will be off in each half cycle. So if we see the output performance in a full way rectifier, for complete cycle there will be output voltage. So efficiency is more 80% and ripple is less compared to the half way rectifier. So this is the waveform output voltage for the half way rectifier. If we see the output voltage, we know what is one cycle. One cycle in a sense, one positive half cycle and one negative half cycle. So in the half way rectifier, the output we are getting only in the positive side. In the negative half cycle, the output is zero. So it is called as a half way rectifier. Only for the half cycle, we are getting output voltage. But in full way rectifier, in one cycle, the output we are getting in both the half cycles, positive half cycle as well as a negative half cycle. So whatever it is, the rectifier which converts AC to DC. So low voltage AC is the input, unsmoothened DC because it, there is a ripple in the output of rectifier. So it is called as unsmoothened DC. So this unsmoothened DC is the input for the next stage which is reservoir or smoothing filter. Here there is a capacitor. So capacitor filters the AC component which is present in the previous stages. Means this reservoir or smoothing filter converts unsmoothened DC to a smoothened DC. So this is a sample output of full way rectifier. So capacitor since there is a capacitor there will be a charging and a discharging uh, uh, takes place. So this is a filtered output which is unregulated. 
so that will be regulated by the last stage which is a voltage regulator voltage regulator can be a ic which comes in 7 8 series and 7 9 series for positive voltage as well as negative voltage or it can be a active components like transistors or a zener diode here we use a zener diode so the output of uh, uh, the zener diode is a regulated one means this voltage regulator converts unregulated dc into a regulated dc in a sense there will be a constant output voltage even though there is a change in the current so this is the block diagram of dc power supply which involves in the conversion of high voltage to the regulated dc uh, so overall we can see in this diagram the first stage is a transformer step down transformer input is high voltage and the output is step down to low voltage so conversion of input uh, ac supply to low voltage ac supply and next stage is rectifiers here it showed a, a bridge rectifier four diodes so input is low voltage ac that is converted into a rectified dc supply which is unsmoothened so and next third stage is a filter circuit which consists of a capacitor and the output of the capacitor is a charging and discharging means um, the filtered output and that filtered dc supply is applied to the last stage which is a regulator and here we are using zener diode so it converts unregulated filtered dc supply into a regulated output dc supply so finally we are getting the output voltage which is constant all over the time t and this is the structure of a simple dc power supply so here we can see the entire block diagram and input is the ac here there will be a primary fuse and this is a transformer step down transformer and the other side there is a secondary fuse and this is about the transformer and here comes a bridge rectifier which is a rectifier circuit and after rectifier circuit we have a capacitor filter which is a reservoir capacitor and the last one is a regulator and the output of the regulator is a dc output voltage so now we'll see about the halfway rectifiers so first we'll see what is rectifier rectifier is a circuit which converts ac signal into a pulsating dc signal so for rectification here semiconductor diodes are used means pn junction diodes are used which is used as a convert rectifiers to convert alternating current means ac into a direct currents so we already know what are the types of rectifiers half way rectifiers full way rectifiers full way rectifiers is again classified into biphase rectifiers and bridge rectifiers so first we'll see about the semiconductor diodes so semiconductor diodes is nothing but a normal pn junction diode which is having two terminals anode and a cathode terminal here you can see the symbol of diodes anode is a positive terminal and cathode is a negative terminal so diodes acts as a switch it can on and off means the diode conducts when it is forward biased and it doesn't conduct when it is a reverse biased means if positive of the battery if it is connected to anode terminal then we can say the diode is forward biased and whatever the load connected that will receive the current for example if there is any bulb it glows when negative terminal of the battery is connects anode then diode goes to the reverse bias condition and uh, it acts as an open switch during forward bias it acts as a closed switch and during the reverse bias it acts as an open switch since the circuit acts as an open circuit the current doesn't flow through the load means the diode will be on during the forward bias condition and off during the reverse bias condition this principle we use in a rectifier so now halfway rectifiers so halfway rectifier is a simple circuit which consists of a single diode which is named as a d1 here so the simplest form of rectifier makes use of a single diode and it operates on either positive or negative half cycle of the supply so the name is halfway rectifier so the input for this rectifier so here we can see the transformer transformer is a step down transformer so there is a primary winding as well as a secondary winding so across the primary winding there is a ac supply which ranges from 220 volt to 240 volt so this step down transformer reduces the voltage from 240 to 
12 volt that depends on the number of turns and we have the formula like v1 by v2 equal to n1 by n2 if the number of turns are same then v1 is equal to v2 like that so main voltage here is 220 to 240 which is applied to the primary winding and this step down transformer step downs the voltage to 12 volt and here next in after the transformer here we can see the rectifier which is a diode d1 and uh, it conducts in the positive half cycle of the input and it doesn't conduct in the negative half cycle of the input so we'll see both the cases our input which has uh, we can consider a full cycle where there is one positive half cycle and where there is a negative half cycle so first case during positive half cycle of the input so during positive half cycle of the input the polarity of the transformer here it will be plus here it is minus so same voltage will be induced across a secondary winding so even the polarity is plus here and minus here the plus will be connected to the anode of the diode means the diode acts as a closed switch since it is a power bias so the switch acts as a closed switch and the circuit acts as a closed loop so the current flows in this way means the current flows through the load rl if there is a current flow then we get the output voltage we can measure output voltage across the load as for the ohm's law v is equal to i into r so during positive half cycle the circuit acts as a closed circuit since the diode is on and the output is not equal to zero the output is i into r l and second case during the negative half cycle of the input during the negative half cycle polarity here is minus and here it is plus same voltage induced across the secondary winding so minus and plus here the t1 is nothing but the transformer one and the minus will be connected to the anode of the diode minus and anode so this diode acts as a reverse bias so the diode will be in a off state means open switch if the switch is open the uh, current doesn't flow means the input is not connected to the load so the current doesn't flow through the load rl so current is zero therefore output voltage across rl is also zero so during negative half cycle output voltage is zero so we get the output waveform in this manner first one which is an input waveform which normally we write as 0, 5, 2, 5, means 0, 180, 360. This 0 to 2, 5 is one full cycle. So during positive half cycle, diode D is power biased, current flows through the RL. So we get output voltage VO equal to I into RL. During negative half cycle, the diode acts as an open switch because it is reverse biased. So current is zero, therefore output voltage is also zero. So for the full cycle, for the entire cycle, positive as well as negative, we are getting output voltage only during the positive half cycle. It means only for a half cycle, we are getting the output voltage. So this is called as a half wave rectifier. And next, half wave rectifier with the capacitor filter. So, means we are going to discuss about reservoir and smoothing circuit or we can say it is a filter circuit. The halfway rectifier which is connected with the capacitor filter means the capacitor which is connected parallel to the load resistance. If the elements are parallel then the voltage across that will be same. Same circuit just a connection of capacitor means we are going to observe what is the output voltage across the capacitor means what is the filtered output across the capacitor so we already know during positive half cycle the circuit acts as a closed switch means the circuit acts as a closed circuit and the load receives a current in the same way even the capacitor receives some amount of current capacitor charges whenever there is a current flow and discharges when there is no current flow so during the positive half cycle the capacitor receives some current so the capacitor starts charging after some maximum after some capacitor voltage so the capacitor charges from a threshold point to the maximum and then during negative half cycle what happens during negative half cycle the old, uh, the uh, circuit acts as an open circuit the current is zero so the voltage decreases that time the capacitor 
capacitor discharges, starts discharges from peak to the next maximum. And again, the positive half cycle of the input comes and uh, current flows through the circuit and capacitor receives the current, it charges to the peak. And again, when the neg negative half cycle comes, there is a zero current, so the capacitor discharges. So same charging and discharging takes place. Always charging time is less compared to the discharging time. So here we are getting some ripple voltage. Here this is a ripple voltage, the amount of ripples present in the output across a capacitor.